man's history is one of making tools. Tools that translate intention into fine works of men, innovating every step of the way. Let me introduce myself. I am Nob, and I am here to help you control anything you put your mouse cursor over. You can use me with faders, scroll bars, sliders. Of course, I can also control virtual knobs. Use me to drag pretty much anything, vertically or horizontally. How about dragging keyframes, doing clip edits, fades? I can work with radial elements too. And I love helping you write audio tracks or perform quality automation. Knob features a weighted solid aluminium knob and a very precise industrial grade encoder delivering super smooth operation and bringing back that good old radio tuning feeling that has been missing from most modern media production environments. Knob is a high quality product. All the electronics are housed inside a durable, handcrafted, hardwood mahogany enclosure. We've chosen only the finest materials in order to create a device that is made to last. This would not have been possible without the help from experienced craftsmen putting their hearts to what they're doing. It can be used with almost any program on any operating system, including Windows, Mac, Linux, or Android, right out of the box without having to install any extra drivers or special software. This is possible by intelligently emulating a human interface device like your standard mouse or keyboard. Use it with touchscreens to control any element you touch. It's even possible to combine it with desktop eye tracking technology to simply control what you set your eyes on. And there's more. Knob has a number of additional productivity features that make it shine in any media authoring environment. Like for example, touching the right toggle switch to temporarily flip the drag direction, or double tap its big knob to undo or redo the last drag. How about double tapping the left toggle switch to jump between two screen elements of your choice? This is great for mixing, mastering, or color grading, where you want to precisely adjust one parameter against the other. Knob also features an open serial protocol interface to allow developers to use it in any application they might find it useful in. Hi, I am Dio Marinos, computer engineer and creator of Knob. After several iterations, we now have a device we would like to share with the world. This is where you can give us a hand. By supporting our campaign, you help us kickstart the production of Knob and you get the chance to be one of the first to experience it. Thank you for your attention. Hey Kickstarter, you might remember us from our last PowerTap campaign, having raised more than 800% of our funding level. Since five years, we have been developing solar bags and backpacks and became Europe's number one in mobile energy supply. We think about the environment, we think about power, and we want to raise awareness for 100% clean energy because our ecosystem is part of a larger one. Therefore, we develop a technology to make your energy visible. The Sunnybeck Smart Battery. The smart battery charges your smartphone on the go and provides revolutionary features 
that facilitate your daily life. With the built-in Bluetooth connection, you can wirelessly control your camera and shoot great selfies from a distance. It's also a genius when it comes to security. If you forget your bag or in case of theft, you will be warned automatically. Of course you can charge the smart battery with any standard outlet, but it's more sustainable with our Sunnybag solar systems. See how much green energy you produce and the additional battery time you generate for your mobile devices. Share your green activities with your friends and get a lot of likes. In addition to our smart battery, we offer three exclusive bundles with our Sunnybeck Solar Systems on Kickstarter only. The Sunnybeck Leaf is the world's lightest flexible solar system that will support you during your outdoor activities. If you need solar power for your business life, choose our business class made out of genuine calf leather. Or you choose our solar backpack and never ever bother about empty batteries again. The first step towards our green future starts here. So please join our green community now and be the first to get the smart battery here on Kickstarter. Hi, I'm Oscar. And I'm Dave. And we're the founders of Thimble. Thimble is a monthly subscription service that delivers an orange box to your doorstep. Each box contains components and instructions to build a specific kind of device, a fun toy, or something useful. Our learning app has step-by-step -step tutorials to help you build what's inside the kit from scratch. Thimble is for anyone who considers themselves a maker, for kids, it could be for a high school or college student, a young programmer who wants to get into hardware, it could be a parent who may be an engineer who has kids, wants to create that nice bonding experience of creating something from scratch, or it can be for a retired engineer. People want to be creative, but they don't always have the right project ideas, the right components, or even the knowledge to build everything all together. So what we do is we, we bring that to you in one package, basically, so it's convenient for you to get started right from home. So our first kit is a uh, little robot, basically. So it, it's got 16 parts. It's got motors, wheels, a little platform, Wi-Fi module. If you go on our website, we have a companion learning app to take you through how to build the robot. So we have videos and uh, pictures, photos, GIFs, all that kind of thing to guide you through how to learn to solder, how to put, a, put the robot together, how to program it, and how to program an Android and iOS app so that you can um, control the robot from your phone, your tablet, or any other device. I've been coding for many years and uh, I love to create cool things by writing code. So when I discovered Thimble, I got to learn how hardware and software work together and I got to play with Arduino and Raspberry Pi robots. And I think this experience in working with the hardware and software is great for coders and developers of any skill level. I was fortunate enough to meet Oscar and David earlier this year through Megan Smith White House CTO. They told me about what they were trying to do and, and it really resonated with me because at the Boys and Girls Club of Buffalo we're, we're trying to bring 21st century skills like coding and engineering to our members. If people want to learn electronics, they can buy a variety of kits out there. Um, I think that's one of the problems is that people are overwhelmed by the number of kits that are out there and there's nothing really offering a guided path to learn. We've been working on this project for almost a year. We've developed our hardware and our software prototypes. Now all we need is your help to make this project happen. We're finally at a point where we have our prototype kits ready to be manufactured, but there are a few steps that we need to take care of before we get to that point. Sourcing the parts, uh, shipping, fulfillment, I mean there are 
quite a few things that need to be done and we won't be able to do that without um, the right amount of capital. So we're using a Kickstarter to, to basically make that a reality. For some people this will be the first robot they have ever made and we really hope that this will inspire you to make more things in the future. Our biggest goal is to teach people electronics, get them to a point where they feel confident building their own projects without a thimble kit. I think the day that they're able to do that, I think we'll have done our job. I'd like to introduce to you the ARC-1, the smarter, larger, and more affordable 3D printer. With the ARC-1, you are unlimited in what you can create. You can print in multiple materials, at varying temperatures, at any time. The ARC-1 not only looks great, but with its compact design and smarter technologies, it helps you along the way. With such features as a heated bed, onboard computer for slicing, monitoring and cloud capabilities, automated bed leveling, filament protection, profiling software and more. It's simply far more effective than the rest. Hi, I'm Alex from Arcadian 3D, a startup with a focus in developing excellent 3D printing tools with everyone in mind regardless of your skill level. We want to help makers bring their ideas to life, to make their sketches become real objects. That's why we need your help. With your pledge, you can claim your part in helping us raise the necessary capital to pay for parts, molding, machining, and tooling of our first machine, the ARC-1, and the final development and production of our open source controller and software package. With your support, you'll get the first ARC-1 printers available to use in your home, business or makerspace. Our production partners have been sourced and agreements are in place. Prototypes have been tirelessly tested and our printer is ready to go into production. All we need is your help to make this a reality. With our background, in manufacturing, electronics, and mechanical design, we are confident we will fulfill all pledges within the time we've set out, if not sooner. With the ARC-1, we are paving a new future in 3D printing technology, and we want you to join us on our journey. So please back our project and share with your friends and family. Then we can all start printing better. Holovec is short for Holographic Vector Display, and it is a volumetric display system. It draws images in the air with light. Holovex can be viewed by multiple people from multiple angles. It is a true volumetric display like the holograms that we've seen in movies and science fiction for so long. I can see a future where every toggle, every control you have is going to be a projected volumetric entity. You'll have buttons, you'll have signs, there's, there's room in education and planning. Whenever you see a movie and there's a projection, it's always being used for very practical purposes. It's always being used to describe a, a large dimensional scene. And that technology does not exist. You can 3D print an object, but it will, it will take a long, long time and it's not interactive. With this technology, you can, you can create landscapes, you can create scenery and, and move it and change it. You can create designs and see them come to life. An architect can make a building and actually see it without waiting for a maquette and then modify it and see it again. There's also a future where it can be used as a communication device. It is a first step, but it can go 
far beyond uh, just a simple display. It's a holographic vector display. <laughs> okay. Turn it on by pressing uh, that button. Right here? Yep. Oh man, that is so, so cool. At its heart is an Edison microcontroller and you can load images to it via USB or, or Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. It's basically a computer, you can program it or you can actually code for it if you're advanced enough. The SDK gives you all the tools you'll need to get started right out of the box. Take something very simple, a point in space that is X, Y, and Z. And you take two of those, now you have a vector. You take a group of those, now you have an object. The SDK gives you the tools to manipulate an object in space with minimal programming skills. I have a degree in physics from Virginia Tech, and it's, uh, light is, is one of the things that are really important to me. And this is an application of, of physics mostly and, and computer science. I also ha have a lot of experience manufacturing. Um, I design and build uh, solar power phone booths and street lights. I think there's few technologies that are as disruptive as crowdfunding and as important as Kickstarter. In the past, somebody like me with, with, with an idea and invention would have to go through a very long, circuitous route to get funding. And this way, you know, I can produce an idea, make a product, and bring it directly to, to the people who will help me uh, develop it in the future. The idea is to get Holovex in the hands of as many people as possible, developers, programmers, artists, to see what they will come up with. And, and then we can develop it further, use that experience and that, that input to go to the next phase.